Okay, um, third phase is tubular secretion. It's not that hard. Um, what it's going to be doing is it's going to be selectively moving things um, from the uh, bloodstream to the filtrate. So it's going the same direction as filtration, but it is a different mechanism. It, the primary places that it occurs are in the distal convoluted tubule and a little bit in the collecting duct. So to oversimplify, filtration occurs here. Um, reabsorption is primarily proximal, loop, and distal. Distal is where it's usually controlled. And then secretion is primarily at the end, okay? So um, what are the major effects of secretion? Um, you can get rid of certain materials there if you have a secretion mechanism for them, like ammonium, like penicillin and phenobarbital urea and uric acid that you reabsorbed but decided you didn't need at the end. And then you can also get rid of excess potassium, especially under the influence of aldosterone. Remember that when you reabsorb sodium, and the bloodstream would be right here, you will secrete potassium. So aldosterone will cause potassium secretion, sodium reabsorption. Um, aldosterone is, of course, secreted from the adrenal cortex and it is generally exchanged for sodium reabsorption, although um, it can also exchange for, um, sodium can exchange for H plus reabsorption. So the other thing that happens um, via secretion is um, you can control the blood pH um, because what happens at um, the tubules, primarily the distal convoluted tubule, is that um, you can take um, carbon dioxide, um, and carbon dioxide will be in the tube as well. There's no reason it wouldn't be in there. It gets filtered out. And then what can happen is that you can take that carbon dioxide and force um, this equation that you've learned countless times. And if you take the carbon dioxide and in the wall of the tube you force this equation, then you're going to have H plus and uh, the bicarbonate ion, HCO3 minus. And then you can decide what to do with the H plus. If it was like a low pH, high H plus situation, you could actively secrete that. And then the kidneys would really be helping with regulating blood pH. So inside the epithelial cells of the tubules, you force this equation. And for instance, if um, the blood pH was low, um, from, for whatever reason, it didn't have to have anything to do with um, carbon dioxide. Um, it could have to do with H plus coming from any source. Um, what, can, what you can do is the low pH alone will stimulate the tubule cells to secrete H plus into the urine. So you'll actively secrete it into the urine. And then you can actively reabsorb the bicarbonate ion back into the blood. So it's sort of a double benefit. So if you encounter low pH, you say, oh, okay, I'm going to force carbon dioxide to go this direction. I'm going to take that H plus and I'm going to secrete it. And I'm going to take the bicarbonate ion and I'm going to reabsorb it. Okay. If the pH was high, the opposite would occur. Okay. So now let's put all of this together. The proximal um, the convoluted tubule, the distal convoluted tubule. So uh, to summarize what's going to occur, in the proximal convoluted tubule in the loop, you can't change what occurs. Whatever occurs is what occurs. And primarily it's reabsorption of potassium at 90%, reabsorption of sodium and water at 65% um, and then another 15 in the loop. But at the distal convoluted tubule, when aldosterone and ADH are present, sodium is going to be reabsorbed, right? Um, from the filtrate into the tubular cells and then back into the blood. But um, if ADH is present, water will follow sodium, okay? And then what about those negative ions? Well, um, the negative ions will follow the positive ions all the way through the tube, and that balances out the electrical gradient created by moving all of those positives in. Whenever I move a positive and a negative doesn't follow it, I can swap it for another positive. The rest of the sodium moving in is balanced by other things being secreted like potassium and H+. So here's the summary of the summary. In the distal convoluted tubule, when aldosterone and ADH are present, the following occurs. You reabsorb sodium chloride, bicarbonate, and water, and you secrete potassium and H+. Okay.